Before I start on any project, the first thing I do is go into the library and organize all the parts of my actors so that I can find them very easily when I'm animating. So the first thing you need to do is get your library out if you don't already see it by going to the window menu in Flash and choosing Library. Your library opens up and as you see here it's completely empty and what we're going to do is we're going to one at a time drag our objects into the library and then name them. But before we do that let's go ahead and create a folder. I'm going to click down here on the new folder button. I'm going to name this arms. And what I want to do at this point is drag these arms into this library. I'm going to double click here to make sure we have nothing there. As you see here, the library is uh, empty because you don't see any paper in it. So when I click and drag this to the library, it's going to ask me to convert this piece of artwork to a symbol. And I'm going to call this, let's see here, um, waving. Because that's going to be the waving arm. I'll click OK and now you see a piece of paper in the library. So when I double click, now you see something in there. And once again, you see the sheet of paper. So I have the waving arm in the library. All I do is click on the name once and it shows up in our preview area. Now I can delete this because I don't need this on the stage anymore. It's already in my library. And I get rid of all the clutter that way. If you delete an item from the library, it will delete from here as well. So you want to make sure that you don't want to delete anything from the library unless you want it to be gone from Flash completely. Let's go ahead now and add the other arm. This is our pointing arm. So we'll click this and drag this into the folder again. And now this name is pointing. And on and on you go. Don't forget you can actually get rid of this now because you don't need it on the stage. And if you want to, and I definitely would advise doing this before you even drag anything into the library, is make sure you grab your free transform tool, click on the pivot point, hold the mouse down, and just move the pivot point where it should be, and then turn this into a symbol. Then when you drag this into the library, as you see here, the symbol will now have the rotation point at the right location. So definitely do that first, and then create your new folders. So I'm going to go ahead and just very quickly just to demonstrate once again, I'm going to go ahead and create one called Legs. And I'm going to click on one of the legs here. Click and hold my mouse down. Move the pivot point where it should be because the leg should rotate from here. And now I can drag this into the library. And as you see, I don't have to go back to the selection tool. I can stay on the free transform tool. And I can just call this, you know, middle walk or whatever I want to call it. So once you're finished, make sure you name all of your folders appropriately for example eyelids or eyes hands body and or miscellaneous like eyebrows and that kind of thing and organization is definitely the way to go when you want to animate something that has a lot of parts you can even take this another step further and add folders for the set so you can have props set voices audio i have folders for everything so i can quickly find it in a flash you can even make a folder in a folder. So if you have a legs folder and you want to have a folder called running legs or walking legs or sprinting legs, for example, you can do that as well. So let me just very quickly cancel this and show you how you do that. I can create another folder and I can say running. So I can take something, for example, like this foot here, drag it into this folder. I'll leave it at symbol one for now. And I can just click and drag this folder into the legs folder. And now I have subcategories here. So I can just have legs and then the kind of legs for this character. So come up with an organizational scheme that works for you. What's best for me is that I create folders for body parts and then I subdivide those folders further. If I have more than one character, I will put the character's name like Toast Arms and then Toast Legs and so on and so forth. Then you have the other character's name like Bob, for example, Bob Arms, Bob Legs. So you don't get confused as to which parts belong to what character.